The rope of a working cowboy has to be reliable, especially if it's going to be used competitively. My name is Jeremiah Craig and I visited King Ropes in Sheridan, Wyoming with Phil Giharo, the owner of Hondo Boots, to learn just how they make these ropes right here in the US. Mike, a rope maker at King Ropes, took us down into the basement of their store on Main Street to show us exactly how it's done. I start with a thread, just like that. Yeah. That's a nylon polyester thread. There's yeah. a couple strands of nylon in there and a strand of polyester. I start with seven of those, double them over. There'll be 14 in each one of the three strands. When it's finished, it's gonna be a 45 foot long rope, but it takes 72 feet of material to build a 45 foot long rope. The stiffer the rope I build, the more weight I have to add because I'm twisting my threads tighter. Yeah. So we'll add more of those weights, which are just old drill bits mm -hmm. for drilling water or oil wells. So the more weight I add to this, the, the stiffer the rope will be. If you drag it all the way down there 25 times, you're, yeah. you're wore out. Yeah. So we got a golf cart. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. So like I said, I'll double this thread over. I got seven, I'll double it, so there's 14 in each one. And I gotta go back to the other end, so. Once I get to that black tape mark on the floor, I'll turn that back corner on and we'll spin all three of them into one row. The bucket in the back is a counterweight. There we go. 14.50, okay. Uh, I was letting that back corner spin a little bit. A characteristic of a machine twist rope is one end will be softer than the other. I mean, we, we start out at 72 feet to get 45 feet of rope. This rope's roughly 46 feet long, because yeah. after we wax it, it'll shrink up some more. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you just let that one motor spin a little extra, try and hopefully even it out. Yeah. And you count it 15 seconds. Yeah, you give, you give it about 15 seconds or so. But what we're really actually doing is we're twisting everything so tight that we're actually changing the memory uh -huh. of that thread. Yeah. The nylon thread and stuff is just like steel. Once you bend it, you can never get it straight again. So yeah, we're twisting that stuff so tight that we're actually changing the memory mm -hmm. of that thread. Right. Wow. Uh, the longest rope we can build down here is 60 feet. Mm -hmm. Takes 97 feet of material mm -hmm. to build a 60 foot rope. Um, and our basement's only 110 foot long. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Nice and firm. Like I said, this is a, a triple extra soft rope. So actually it's the softest rope we build. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's all it's a hard twist. All yeah. area ropes are a hard twist. Yeah. yeah. Reason is you get them soft ropes when you swing them. Mm -hmm. We ball did it, took our shoe strings out, tried to build a rope. It never would work. Well that's because you didn't have any rigidity in that rope. So you saw that rope, we bent it, we felt it was pretty wiry feeling still. This is a wax one, uh -huh. you know, I can do that. That's what the wax helps do. It helps take that wire feel out of there. We'll heat this up 265 degrees. All it is is just a paraffin wax. Yeah, a candle. Yeah, just candle wax is all it is. We'll let them rope soak in there for about, you know, five, 10 minutes. Okay. Um, then they'll come up, set them on the hooks, let them drip. We lay a big sheet of plastic on the floor, set them on the floor, reload the trough. Uh, While well, there's ones that are cooling on the floor, we'll slap them a few times, knock the bigger chunks off. Mm -hmm. um, and then that just puts that protective coat on there, like yeah. I said, makes that rope usable. Yeah. Uh, keeps them, kind of gives them a little bit of weatherproofing. Mm -hmm. It also, uh, as you're using that rope, you'll wear that wax down, you'll start breaking them fibers down. Mm -hmm. And if it was a competition rope for like a team roping rope, you start breaking them fibers down, that rope will fuzz up and it'll start to get slow. Mm -hmm. So them guys like their ropes nice and snappy. Yeah. To finish off the ropes, Mike ties a Hondu knot and sews on a wear leather or burner, and then it's ready to ship out. 
king ropes will also get larger amounts of ropes from the US and internationally to treat and stretch before selling, including grass ropes which they prepare for the working cowboy so it's ready to go as soon as they need it. Be sure to visit King Ropes if you're ever in Sheridan and get yourself one of those famous hats while you're at it. Thanks for watching today. Subscribe if you enjoyed this. Usually I'll do videos about cowboy boots, and here's one about a pair of blackjack rattlesnake boots. I also have lots of music content, and you can watch a video about the story behind the song Home on the Range. Have a great day.